So, Planet Zoo's console edition has been announced, and this has led to some skepticism as to whether Planet Zoo's PC version will still receive DLCs and updates. When Planet Coaster received its console edition, DLCs finished and were not seen again for the Planet Coaster PC edition. But I hope this won't be the same case for Planet Zoo, as there is still a lot more that this game can offer. And I would like to suggest some possible DLCs that could end the game and leave us all satisfied somewhat. Now, I haven't included an Avery DLC here, as I think that is something that a potential sequel could have instead. So, let's get into these DLCs, shall we? Our spring DLC could be the Latin America pack, a scenery pack containing five animals, those being the Black Howler Monkey, the South American Kawati, the Spectacled Bear, the Ocelot, and for walkthrough exhibits, we could potentially get macaws, as these are perhaps the best options for a new kind of walkthrough exhibit animal. So there would be five kinds of macaw, as there were five kinds of butterfly, as this family of parrots is very diverse in its coloration. The species I have selected are the scarlet, blue and yellow, military, red and green, and the hyacinth macaws, all of which would add a great dash of color to the walkthrough exhibits. Potentially even giving the walkthrough exhibits a wider version, I think that would be really good for flying parrots, or even having the option of walkthrough exhibits not even having a path. That could be the case, but let me know what you think about the possibility of macaws. For the scenery, we have Aztec and Mayan-inspired architecture, with Frontier's work on the Tropical Pack and its architecture. I would love to see what Frontier would do with Mayan and Aztec-inspired pieces. In terms of plants, we have the Mariche Palm of the Cerrado, and the pampas grass, two of many potential plant species from this region that I would love to see in the game. For the summer DLC, we have the Equatorial Animal Pack, a DLC that has been thrown up in the air by me in recent weeks. And if we were to have this be our last year of support, I would like a very diverse animal pack rather than being central on a specific region, as there are many animals that could still make it into the game from all around the world. So for this pack, we contain the Secretary Bird, the Hammer Drive Baboon, the Goodfellows Tree Kangaroo, the Cockerel Safarka, the Bush Dog, the Great Aria, the Honey Badger, and the Panther Chameleon. As animal packs have a regular exhibit animal rather than a walkthrough, I think the Panther Chameleon is perhaps the best choice here. All the other animals are very cool additions, and this pack is full of very unique rigs. Secretary Bird, Tree Kangaroo, and Safarka would require a lot of work, and admittedly I understand, but I I find it funny how, with the way Plant Zoo is gone, Frontier has unintentionally led to a lot of unique animals being saved till the end like Secretary Bird, Tree Kanker, and Safarka, even the Bush Dog could all have unique rigs. Even the Hammer Drive Baboon could use its own rig. Honey Badgers are very similar in movements and behavior to Wolverines, so not much would have to be changed there. The Rhea could double down on the Emu rig, and the Panther Chameleon would have some interesting animations for the exhibits. But let me know what you think. Would you like to see the Equatorial Animal Pack added this year? A pack I've spoken of extensively in the past year, we have the Pacific Northwest pack with the American Black Bear, the Elk, the Sea Otter as a new addition, the Mountain Goat, and the Pileated Woodpecker. All five animals would be brilliant additions to all masses of zoo exhibits, and the Sea Otter would perhaps be my favorite animal of the pack. When it comes to scenery, we have Native American architecture characteristic of the Pacific Northwest, as well as log cabins and lodge architecture, and perhaps even having zoo accommodation as part of this update. With some of the plants, we have the Western Hemlock Tree, a characteristic tree of the Pacific Northwest, as well as the Western Sword Fern, a common sight on the forest floor. Let me know what you think of this version of the Pacific Northwest pack, and would you like to see it? And here we are, the end. So, I did think of an Avery pack. And it was pretty good. I will admit, I think it would be a great way to end off Planet Zoo. But 
if we were to think if Frontier weren't to add flying birds and instead end on an animal pack, I think this animal pack should be a bit larger than normal and consist of various animals that can recycle some old rigs and bring in a bunch of new ones to flesh out the roster for one last time. So from east to west, let's cover the continental animal pack or the planet Earth animal pack. So let's begin with the short-beaked echidna of Australia. The black buck, mandarin duck, Palace's cat, Mark Hoare, Tanuki, Golden Pheasant, and Reeves Montjac of Asia. The Gelada, Grey Crown Crane, Shoebill, Great White Pelican of Africa, the Walrus of Europe and North America, the Muskox also of Europe and North America, the Southern Tamandua, Scarlet Ibis, Golden Lion Tamarin, the Joffroy Spider Monkey, Roseate Spoonbill, and Patagonian Mara. Of Central and South America. Now, this is a massive pack consisting of 20 animals, but this is actually sort of a reference to Zoo Tycoon 2's expansions where they had 20 animals. And some of these animals were actually in the original Zoo Tycoon and Zoo Tycoon 2. But all these animals, I think, would be the perfect ways to close out Planet Zoo, giving us the diversity of animals that. We currently do not have, and many could recycle old rigs. The ones that could recycle old rigs would be the Black Buck using any antelope rig available, the Mark Hoare using the Ibex, the Palace's Cat using the Sand Cat, Reeves Muntjac potentially using a small deer rig, the Gelada recycling from the Hammer Drys Baboon, Mandarin Duck taking the Swan rig and just morphing it a little bit, same with the Great White Pelican. Grey Crown Crane and Shoebill would recycle the Crane Rig. The Muskox could possibly double over on the Tarkin. The Walrus would potentially have its own. Southern Tamandua, if they were to add climbing mechanics to the Pangolin, I think the, the Tamandua could use that rig as well. Scarlet Ibis and Rosie Spoonbill would somewhat go hand in hand, having their own rig, but having different feeding methods. When it comes to unique rigs, we have the short beaked echidna, the tanuki. Now, granted, the tanuki is a canid, but they do something that most other canids don't, and that's climb. However, I could see them putting it on a similar rig to the bush dog or a fox and giving it the climbing ability. I could see that happening. Golden Lion Tamarin, Joffro Spider Monkey, they would have their own unique primate rigs. Golden Pheasants would have its own rig too, being a small ground fowl, and we don't really have any except for the Indian peafowl, but potentially recycling that rig and m moving it over to a more pheasantine aesthetic, that could work. And the Patagonian Mara is somewhat different to almost every other animal in the game, so it would have its own. The spider Monkey being a brachiator, that would be different as well. but. I think this would be a good pack for Plant Zoo to end on, as it would just fill out all the missing niches that people are crying out for. I tried to contain the whole of the top 20 and a bit more in these pack ideas, so that at least the most requested animals were added into the game, and a, a solid diversity for every region is covered. But, um, yeah. That's the Continental Animal Pack. Let me know what you think of it and animals that you would possibly change. And there you have it. That is the DLC speculation video. I just wanted to make this quick one as I did think of those two new ideas, those being the Continental and Equatorial Animal Packs. But uh, what do you think? The console edition could potentially spell the end of PC's support of Plant Zoo. And yeah. If you could change anything about these DLCs, what would you change? Leave those in the comments below. As for now, I've been Red Panda Reggie, and thank you for watching the video. Bye bye.